Hey everybody, it's Chris the Otaku here back with another unboxing and I have a pretty decent sized package from Right Stuff, so without further ado, let's get to this unboxing. Alright, so before we go to anything else, let's get to the advertisements. So here we have Love Stage. This is released by Sentai Filmworks. And it's just a Japanese sub only release. It's a Yaoi. Uh, let's get to the. I'm gonna start off with the small ones and then get to the big ones. So here we have this is Harmony. This is the second film in the project. Uh, second film in the project Itoe film series that is, that's been going on. I know the first one was done by, I believe it was Wit Studio. And I'm not sure who did this one. I think it's Madhouse who did the second one. I know the third one's gonna be done by, not Manglobe, because Manglobe just can't, um, closed down another company, but Again, yeah, this is the second film for the three-part Project e a film series. Here's the front. Here's the front. It says Harmony feature film. The first film was Empire of Crosses. I did do an unboxing of it a few months ago. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack with also a digital HD download. The DVDs, pretty much, it is English 5.1 surround, Japanese 5.1 surround, 16 by 9, and I believe, I think it's kind of focus. It's regions 1, 2, and 4. The Blu-rays are A and B. And then 1080p high definition 60 by 9. Dolby True HD English 5.1. Japanese is 5.1. Same thing, English is the 2.0 for the bonus features and Japanese is 2.0. It does come with a uh, Funimation short. Pretty much it's just from like Emperor Crosses. There's pretty much like, um, it was just a, like an interview with the cast, sort of. But, uh, yeah. I haven't seen Itsuwa, this one, yet. The only thing I really like about this series, the Harmony, I feel like is my favorite, because this, the art style is done by, uh, Red Juice, and if you don't know, Red Juice did the art style for, um, like, shows like Guilty Crown, um, and then the Kabanari, the Iron Fortress, um, he's just, he's just, his art is pretty cool. Like, he did a lot of uh, Hatsune Miku uh, artwork as well. Like they did a lot of um, the artwork for Hatsune Miku. But yeah, here's the front, spine, back, same. I'm just gonna take out my digital HD copy. I don't want you guys seeing that. So here we have the Blu-ray and DVD. The Blu-ray right here, and this is the DVD. Pretty sad that Funimation, the disc card is really nice, but I wish it wasn't the same, which is separate art. Really nice if they did that. And then for the other side, we do have some artwork. As you can see, done by, of course, Red Juice. His art style is really nice. Definitely one of my favorite art styles. He, when he draws anime characters, definitely one of my favorites. But yeah, so this is Project Project Itoi, Harmony, the film. And then here we have High School DxD Season Three or High School DxD Born. And here we have all the main characters for Season Three: Riaz, Issei, Azia. Koneko, Gaspar, Zenobia, Rina Shiro, Rosemary Weiss, uh, Kiva, Akino. But uh, yeah, here's the front, here's the top. This is the limited edition. And here we have uh, Koneko's sister. And here we have the spine with Rias. Um, this is the limited edition. Um, I do have season one and season two's limited edition. I did bought those over the years. And um, here is. This is Ria and Issei, and this is pretty much just um, artwork from the light novel. 
and pretty much you get a Sublure DVD combo. This is regions 1, 2, and 4, English 5.1 surround and Japanese stereo, regions A and B for the Blu-ray, the Witcher HD 5.1 and Japanese 2.0. Then if you have definition HD native. I notice um, when it comes to broadcast dubs, Funimation seems to have um, the regions to be 1, 2, and 4 for the DVD and A and B for the Blu-ray, but if it's a show that wasn't a broadcast dub, that was just simulcasted in like the original Japanese dub, or it's a show that they like rescued or they licensed previously, like um I it's it, you can see no feel you can see that they're, they license, it's only like regions A, region 1. But um, this one has no commentary on it. It's just like uncut. It has the six OVAs, like how season 1 and season 2 had them. Um, I can understand why they did not have um, commentary for this season. Because I know they didn't have commentary for the second season as well. For the English cast. Because, you know, the they had to change the Issei's voice actor, they changed his voice. The voice actor who originally did Issei, they had to change him due to certain circumstances. And you can actually find out why on Anime News Network. And same thing with Akino as well, because we know that they did change that. Let me remove the insert. Then we still have Rias and Issei. Slide the contents out. That's so weird. It's weird how they did like with this. You can see like it is this type of gem case, like an indented gem case, and then this one is just a regular gem case. I think that's kind of that was really stupid. So here, these are the DVDs. See the spine. So the XD born. And here we have Rose Wise, Zenovia, Arena, and Issei. Then we have the spine with uh, Corona or Kornaka. I don't really remember. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen this. And uh, it's a disappointment. I love how they don't do any, they just use the same disc art. <laughs> it's disappointment Funimation. But they could have tried harder, in my opinion. And here we have a uh, nice artwork of uh, Rose Wise. And this is like light novel artwork. Um, there is rumors that there's supposed to be a uh, fourth season in the works, but that's just on random forums. Who knows if there's going to be a fourth season? Because there's still much to go over in the light novels. This is the show's originally a light novel series. And here we have Konako, Issei, Konako's sister. Um, at the time, I didn't watch this in broadcast dub because, and here's the spine, mainly because of how they changed. You know, Issei's voice voice actor and Akino's voice actor to Brenna Pearl for Akino. And then here we have Rose Weiss. And pretty much it's this, you know, episodes 1 to 12 and everything like that. And then again, Rias as Gen. Again. It's pretty disappointing that they didn't use any more artwork. And then here we have. Uh, Konica, as you can see, and this is just another light novel artwork that was used. Still don't know why they use different gem cases. I think that's really weird, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, that's High School DxD Season 3, or also known as High School DxD Born. And I have one more item to show you guys. Here we have, this is the Melancholy Haruhi Suzumiya, the Blu-ray Ultimate Collector's Edition by Funimation Entertainment, of course. This is the entire series, the entire first two seasons of Haruhi, the 2006 adaptation as well as 2009, the chibi Haruhi Suzumiya, like little mini ON original animations. And also has this appearance of Nakoto Yuki Chan, which was, was another anime that was another adaptation of the series that was created last year. So here we have Haruhi, we have Yuki Nakato, and then we have Mikurun on the front. We have the top. This says the Mount Kai Haruhi Suzumiya, the ultimate collector's edition. Spine, same thing. 
here's the back. So pretty much we have the Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. Again, this is, it is this region A only. I hate this camera's trying to focus. And it has pretty much it's 28 episodes. Again, the original 2006 anime and also the 2009 reboot. It's 1080p high definition 60 by 9 HD native. Go be treated to 501 English, Japanese 2.0, and um, the bonus features is Dolby Tree 2.0 English and the Japanese 2.0. It's four Blu-rays and one DVD, so I'm assuming the DVD is the cast interviews that Bandai did when they were releasing this in 2009. And here we have the Melancholy of Haruhi Chan Suzumiya and Yorun uh, Churuya-san, and that's uh, Region A, English 2.0, Dolby Tree HD. And Japanese Dolby Tree HD, English 2.0, and Japanese 2.0. This is the only way you can get the shorts and Blu-ray, is getting the Ultimate Collector's Edition. If you want to get in the Standard Edition, you can only get the DVD. And then we have the disappearance of uh, Nagato. As I was saying, when well, my camera just cut for some reason. Here we have the disappearance of Nagato Yuki-chan. This is all 16 episodes. We have this Region A, Dolby Tree HD 5.1, Japanese 2.0, and English and Japanese 2.0 for the bonus features. And also there's a filler box that has art cards in it and also a pamphlet of how the order in which to watch the show. They know there's an original broadcast order, the, the broadcast order, the Japanese order, the Bandai order, and so forth. Um, with Haruhi, I never really watched the show. I've, I've heard of it. I mean, I've seen clips of the show, so I know like how great it is. But also, the filler box also is again, it's a filler box. It's for it's going to be for when Funimation they are getting the rights for the disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya, which is the film out of the film, um, the film adaptation for the series. And here we have the back with two characters from the show. And on the back, there's Nagato Yuki in the bottom. Yeah. It's nicely compacted in. And honestly, this is actually pretty sturdy. If I do say so myself. So here we have, um, this is the Melancholy Hari Suzumiya. This is the all 28 episodes. There's Haruhi and Kyon on the front, the spine, and Mikudun on the back. I do know some of the characters' names just through, you know, clips of it, of watching on YouTube. There's Nagato Yuki, there's Haruhi on disc one, Yuki Nagato, Mikudun, Kyon, and I do not know what this character's name is. Then take it. This is the DVD extras, and here we have a reversible cover with Haruhi in the back. So yeah, this is also a reversible cover, as you can see. Four Blu-rays, one DVD for the extras. Here we have the Melancholy of Haru Haruhi Chan Suzumiya, and Nobion Chubiasan, and here's all the cast. Here's the front, spine. Again, this is the only way you can get the Blu-ray for the little mini OVAs. Only way you can get it. The standard edition of Funimation's releasing is only DVD. And here we have another reversal cover, which is really nice. I feel like Fun Funimation was really trying to get as close to the Japanese release as possible on how accurate it's supposed to be, which I like about it because I, I have seen the Japanese unboxings of it. But again, they're doing the same thing, this indent gem case. I don't see why they're always doing this for all their releases now. It's really weird. Here we have uh, Yuki Nagato. This is for the disappearance of Nagato Yuki-chan. Here's the front, spine, back with two Yukis. Here we have Yuki and Yugi. And then more artwork of Yuki. And again, this is another reversible, reversible 
cover. And here we have the filler box with Haruhi, Yuki Nagato, the spine. Again, this is the filler box for the disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya, when that's probably coming out. I wouldn't be surprised if Funimation, as of now, I'm recording this Funimation announced their December 2016 releases, so I wouldn't be surprised maybe for January of 2017 it will be released. Maybe. Here are some art cards. I feel like these are, these are just the covers of the Japanese uh, release of each volume. These SOS Brigade. I know this is the artwork done by the light novel artist. Yuki Nagato. Yukudun. Don't know who she is, but I do just know some. I uh, don't really know any of these characters really. And I know this is Kion. And this is the Collector's Edition Guidebook. Or Guide. So pretty much. It tells you how to watch Melancholy Haruhi Suzumiya, which is season one, season two. This is the 2009 rebroadcast order. Just watch it in episode 128. This is the broadcast order for Kion. And this is chronological order of Haruhi. And this is the Japanese DVD order. And then we have the Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya in season one, season two. This is the order. So pretty much it's pretty linear. So there's no like jumping around like how, except for these, and then this one's pretty lean, linear as well. Oh, look at that. It looks like they got a license to OVA. I cannot let summer break end OVA. So they, I guess Funimation has got the license to an OVA. But this appearance is not going to be on. And that, also, that show is actually 16 episodes in length. So honestly, this was pretty worth the buy for this, um, because on right stuff, you can get this for $109. That's what I pre-ordered for, $109. I know if you purchase it separately, actually it's a little more money. It's around $112 if you buy, if you buy the uh, Melancholy Haruhi Suzumiya as a standalone Blu-ray, um, Nagato Yuki Chan as a standalone Blu-ray, and the little ONA's standalone, it's actually like $3 more. It's like $112, so it's, just, it's worth getting the Full collector's edition, in my opinion. But yeah, that's everything for this unboxing. Three items from Funimation. Two limited editions. One limited edition, one collector's edition, one movie. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this one. And um, I'll, see you guys I'll see you guys later, guys. I'll see you guys next time.